Hey everyone, so in today's video, we are going to be coding a snake game in Python. Now the end results are going to be fantastic, so make sure to follow along with me in typing the code and please do stay tuned to the end of this video. I promise you all that you will have a lot of fun playing this game. Now before we begin, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to NP Station and please do click on the post notifications bell. Now let's get coding. Hello everyone, welcome back to NP Station. So before we start typing your code for a snake program in Python, I want to go ahead and show you guys the end result and what you'll be seeing when you run all of your code. So I do have another window open here. I'm going to go ahead and run it. As you can see, this is our snake game. We'll be coding this from scratch. So this is super cool. Um, you can see that once I eat the red block, or once the snake eats the red block, it grows by, um, you know, one block. So I did crash into myself, so that's why it has put in a red block at the head of the snake. So we will be cutting this. Now, let's get started. So today, we are going to be using Ido Shell to be typing in our snake game for Python. And for this program, we will need to use three modules. And those are the turtle module, the random module, and we'll also need a free games module. So let's go ahead and type in um, our first line of code, which is from turtle import. And we'll also need from random import rand range. And then from free games import square comma vector awesome now i do want to let you guys know that for you to actually be able to create this game and use a free games module you will need to go to your command prompt and type in pip install free games so once um and then click enter and then you, your free games module will successfully be downloaded or installed on your computer and you can continue on with your code. So I already did that step, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. So now, um, for this game, we'll be needing three variables, or three elements, which are the, the food variable, we will need a snake variable, and an aim variable. So these are the three elements that we'll need for this game. And I'm going to put in uh, vector 0, 10, and then square brackets, vector, and then parentheses, 10, 0. And then for the aim, I'll also need vector, and 0, negative 10. Okay, so those are our three elements that we'll need for this game. Now, let's move on to our functions for our snake game. And there are also three functions that we'll need. And those are the change function, the inside function, and the move function. So first, let's do the um, change function. So def change and our two values will be x and y. So x will stand for our x-axis and y will stand for our y-axis. So those um, are basically, you know, our kind of board game for this game will be a square. So those, the x-axis and y-axis will be the three, two values we will need. And then what we're going to do is aim.x is equal to x. And then aim.y is equal to y. So our aim.x will be equal to our x-axis and so... Um, you get that our aims at y will equal b equal to our y axis. Awesome. So now we're done with our um, change function. Let's move on to our second one, which is the inside function. And here we'll put in head. And in this function, we will need to write the code to set our boundary kind of boundary lines for this game. So the boundary line, um, as I said just before our kind of board game for this snake game will be a square. So the boundary lines will be the four um, edges or the, yeah, the four edges of our square. So the snake won't be able to go outside. If it does, then it will, you know, end the game. So the player will lose. So we're going to put in return to 200 and then it's less than head.x 
less than 190. And then I'm going to put in an and, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this part and paste it right there. And we're done with that. Awesome. Now our last function will be def move. Here we need to write the code that will control the movement of our snake. Of our snake. So head equals snake. And then in square brackets, we'll put in negative one. Negative one is the forward movement value, so we'll have to put that in so to make sure our snake can move forward. And in this game, our snake will not be able to move backward. And as you see, I've added a dot copy at the end. This will like, copy this line and make sure that the snake will move forward, which is our negative one in our forward movement value throughout the entire game. And then add in a dot or head dot move and then aim. Cool. Now we're done with our three functions, so let's move on to our conditional statements. First, type in if not inside head, then or head in snake. There we go. So this line of code uh, is where we're going to be setting the boundary, um, the boundary lines of our game. So the first part, as you can see, inside head. Or actually, I think, okay, yes, this is correct. I was just double checking. Okay, so as you see, our first part is inside head. So that's our first boundary line, which is the snake cannot cross the, the or the head of the snake cannot cross the boundary lines of the square. And our next part here is head in snake. So this part is saying that the head of the snake cannot cross its own body. That will also um, kind of quit the game and the player will lose. So we also need square and then head.x, head.y, 9, and then it will be red. So if the um, snake does cross any of these two boundary lines, then it is going to put in or insert a red square at the head of the snake to really, you know, just tell the player how they got out and where they did it. So we are also going to put, throw in an update right here, just like that, and then we'll return it. Return. Okay. Just like that. And don't forget to add in a snake.append at the end. And, um... We'll put in head. So the snake that I pen here, all it's doing is it um, will actually put in that red square at the head of the snake if all the above conditions are satisfied. Cool. So we're done with our first, you know, conditional statement. Our next will be if head is equal to food. So now we will need to type the code for um, if the head of the snake reaches the food. So that's kind of the goal of this game for the player to, you know, have like the longest snake they can or really to eat the most food um, while playing this game. So first, um, once the snake eats the first piece of food, we'll have to print um, snake, comma, and then L-E-N, which stands for length, and snake, and close the parentheses. So this will make the kind of length of the snake grow by one block since it ate one red block. Um, that is going to be the food. So now we will need two other lines of code, which is foo.x is equal to rand range. And then in parentheses, negative 15, comma 15, and then times 10. And now I'm gonna copy this line like that. Control C, Control V, and instead of X, of course, we have to change it to Y. Awesome. So these two lines are going to tell the computer where to place the next food on the uh, on the board. So you can see I have I have like a negative 15, comma 15 times 10 at the end of both of these lines. That's kind of the math behind you know, where it, the place where it will, you know put the food on the board. So. Now let's put in just an else statement. It is going to say snake dot. Just like that. And then we'll put in clear and parentheses. Awesome. Now we'll need um, for body in snake. 
So here we are going to, you know, describe or put in the code how our snake will look like and how it should be like. So um, actually not snake, it should be square. So square and body dot x, body dot y, nine. And our snake will be green, of course. Oops, I forgot that comma. All right, that looks good. So now we will need to put in square. Let's spell that correctly. There we go. So in parentheses, we're gonna put food.x, food.y. Again, nine, and then our food, the color will be red. So I'm just, you know, going for it to look like an apple, a square shaped apple. <laughs> so, and then after we will need our update as well, again here, and then on timer, move 100. Awesome. So we're almost done. There's a few more lines of code and we will need to put in high turtle. Actually, you guys might be familiar with this if you watch my Coding for Kids in Python video series because we did a lot of videos using the turtle module and this was a line of code that we use in I think mostly all of the activities where we use the turtle module. Um, since we are using the turtle module, we'll have to do hide turtle, which will hide the pen, the pen tool that will be you know, making the drawings, you could say, on for our game. So by doing this, we won't see the pen tool. Um, we will be able to see our snake and the food you know, clearly. So make sure to add that, and then we'll need tracer, false, and then listen, just like that. And we're gonna add in, here, let me get some, there we go. So now what you're going to do is put in on key, and in parentheses, go ahead and type this in. And then we're gonna put changes, let me spell that again correctly. Changes, and then parentheses will put 10, 0, comma, and this will be right. And go ahead and copy this line of code three more times. I will explain what this means in just a second after we change everything. So this will have to change to left, up, then of course down. And then we'll need to be, we'll have to change our values here. So for left, it'll be negative 10. And then we'll switch these around to zero comma 10, then zero comma negative 10. Okay, there we go. So these three lines of code are basically explaining the control, um, the controls for this game. So for the player to actually move the snake, they'll be ha they'll have to use their right arrow, left arrow, up and down arrow on their keyboard, right? And those are the controls for this game. So these four lines of code are explaining how um, what the controls are and how it's going to move the snake. I didn't see the numbers in the parentheses here. And our last two lines of code will be move, empty parentheses, and as well as done. Awesome. So we are finished with our entire code for our snake game. Let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens. All right, as you can see, we have successfully made our snake game. This is super cool. Um, so right now, my snake is just a tiny... Okay, so now it's two green blocks. Need another one. This is awesome, guys. So awesome job. You actually created your own game in Python. And as you can see, I accidentally crossed the snake's own body. So you can see it's inserted a red block at the head of the snake. And take a look at this window. It actually types in the number of, you know, Apple, as you could say, that the snake ate. So super cool. You guys created your first game in Python. Go ahead and show this off to your family and friends. They will be super impressed with you. And I am very impressed as well with you all. So great job. And let me know in the comments what you thought of this game. I'll be 
I'm really, really happy to hear back from you. But that's all for today, guys. Um, keep reading, keep cutting, and stay safe.